Hey there, if you use git bash through Windows Terminal and, for example, press the backspace key when there is nothing to delete, you will notice that the entire git bash window flickers. Believe it or not, this is the intended behavior and it's called the bell notification style or the visual bell. If you like this behavior, leave it as it is, close this video and go on with your life. But if it annoys the hell out of you and you want to disable the flicker, let me show you how you can turn it off. Let's get started. Open the .input RC file, which is located under C, Users and your username. If the file doesn't exist, you can create it by running the following command in git bash. Now let's open the file and add the following setting. Set bell style none. Then press save. Alternatively, you can use the following command to create the file if it doesn't exist or append the text content to it if the file already exists. All right. Now you need to restart the Windows Terminal to see the result. I'm going to press the backspace key and as you can see, we are not getting any flickering. If you are one of those Giga Chads that are using Vim, then the fix won't work for you if you are opening Vim through Git Bash in Windows Terminal. But don't worry. There is a way to fix the flicker for Vim as well. Open the .vimrc file, which is located under C, Users and your username. If the file doesn't exist, you can create it by running the following command in git bash. Open the file and add the following setting. Set t from terminal underscore visual bell equals to empty value. Alternatively, you can use the following command to create the file if it doesn't exist or append the text content to it if the file already exists. All right, now we need to restart Windows Terminal to see the result. Now I'm going to press the backspace key and no flickering. Awesome. And this is how you exit Vim. All right, that was it. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the other tutorials from this channel. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.